We're live! Mobius camera, 720 DPI. Okay, and what's your name? Brian. Brian. This is Brian with a uh, newish Sopwith camel. We're in four to eight mile an hour south winds right now for the moment. Perfect. Oh no, now I see what you're talking about. Check that out. And I got it. If I want to get silly, I got way too much power. No, no. Don't keep the power. If you got it and it's balanced and it doesn't torque roll on you, you have not sinned. Oh, look how steady. Yeah. Nice. I do too. Okay. I can fly without one, but Why? I've got more time to kind of enjoy the flight instead of making a thousand more little corrections. I love the gyro. It takes all the bounce out of it. And uh, really it flies faster because we're not we're not yanking on it so much. Look at that. Okay, and the wind is freshened up. The flags didn't pick it up, so it's a little goofy. So keep your eye on the plane, but I'll tell you on the next pass, of course, straight ahead from you, nose forward, is another flag of the winds there. And sometimes the winds out there across the field can be different from what we're showing next to the pits. There you go. Is that right? Good. Looks good up there too, doesn't it? Um, when you actually spend, you know, the equivalent of two work weeks building one, it's just so Three point zero. So rewarding. Not that the foamies aren't fun, but this is different. Yeah, I know what you mean. Because the other one, I, I sold my Dynam Tiger Moth because I built uh, a 55-inch kit. That was the first one I built, and it, again, it just flew so amazing. So I'll never fly that Dynam again. <laughs> yeah. I sold it to a guy named Devin up here. I met him. Is it Devin Pitts? Maybe a young guy? Yeah. He's the proud owner of a slightly used... I, if it's the same Devin that's out here, which it probably he's is... He's got a bunch of little tiny warbirds. Yeah, he's got a bunch of GSWs. Yeah, he bought my uh, Hobby King Steerman, too. Okay, nice. Okay, winds are freshened up. Uh, predominantly out of the south, southwest, so there's your crab. So, okay, on that pass, come back again. And uh, try them. Um, yeah, see? I may land it. Well, let this west wind dies down, but come back on this pass and uh, do your thumb right. So give a little bit of right rudder. And point the nose towards. There you go. That's it. And back stick. That's it. There, that's a beautiful crab. That's it. <laughs> that's your deal. Okay, so that possibly could be the way that you might have to land. So do that again. I'm gonna bring it in now. Let's see, see I'm, I'm not used to being able to take such a flat approach to landing. <laughs> take your time. Take your Trinity. Trinity's right there. You're good. I know. That field over there. Oh, I can't. It was fun when I had little planes, but as things get bigger. It's very challenging. See, this plane, when there's no wind, you can land it just, just like the real thing. Land on a dime. Down, man. Come over. You're not over the runway. You're in the weeds. Come up. Don't take this pass. It's deceiving. You got a lot of room. Okay, so I got a suggestion. Go right. Hang on. I can turn it harder. I'm just afraid to stall. It's it. okay, but I'm telling you, the runway. Use this runway. Come straight in towards us. Land it on your knee. Bring it in to your knee. There you go. That's today's landing. To your knee. Bring it in. To us. Us, us, us. That's perfect, it. Perfect, perfect. Come on, a little more feather throttle. Look at that! <laughs> now, hold on! 
if you'll notice the time you took and you still got 20 feet of runway so you see the tower so when a west wind is coming bank and your landing approach is from here uh -huh. not from out there so come in here and use this diagonal and it's going to crab and when you, you see we low, got here I guess you don't crab as bad. Uh -uh. it's very deceiving and we just don't understand how much room we got i had to learn yeah, that that's beautiful Happy every time I fly. That's gorgeous. So is this 4S, 5S? 4S. 4S. 4S low KV with a monster prop. You stinking dog. XO Orange. XO AR what? Well, that's a 60 or 1610. Yeah, I got a lot of prop on it. It pulls about about 70 amps. Wow. Perfect. So, which is nice. I mean, it can haul ass, but it's got a lot of drag too. No, you want the power is good. You can. Yeah, if I need it, I, I can. I haven't tried to hover this, but I bet I could. No, man. <laughs> Ain't no need. no need. Very good, Brian. Excellent.